Uh, students, today we are going to learn misplaced modifiers. Let us see what are these things in grammar part. To modify is to change or alter something. A modifier changes, qualifies, clarifies, or limits a particular word in a sentence in order to add emphasis, explanation, or detail. Hence, modifiers generally are descriptive words such as adjectives and adverbs. Modifiers also include phrases with similar descriptive functions. Example, Vedant is an only child. Here, only is a modifier. So let me tell you in one simple sentence, what are modifiers? Modify, the word modify itself shows it is something to change or alter. So what is the work of this modifier? Modifier works as an adjective or adverb and give more description to the word. So this is called modifier. Let us see that example. Vedant is an only child. So if you remove only and if you make it a sentence, it is meaningful Vedant is a child. But when we add this word called only, it is giving some more meaning to that. So Vedant is an only child. So only is a modifier. This is a descriptive word. So this is about modifiers. Now let us see a few more examples. It is interesting to note that the meaning of a sentence can change dramatically depending on where the modifier is placed. Look at these sentences below. That means if you place a modifier in one sentence, if you place modifier in one place, meaning gets changed. The same modifier, if you place it in another part of the same sentence, the meaning gets completely changed. You can clearly understand with this example. Now let us see this example. Only is a modifier, what we are talking about now. Only John met Mar Mary, Mary in the train yesterday. Only John met Mary in the train yesterday. This is the first example. Second one. This modifier, a place is changed now. Let us see now. John met only Mary in the train yesterday. Third example, same sentence, placing modifier in another place. John met Mary in the only train yesterday. Fourth sentence, John met Mary in the train only yesterday. Next, John met Mary in the train yesterday only. So here the meaning of the sentence varies according to where only is placed. Modifiers like only influence the word that is closest to them. Therefore, it is important to place the modifier in a sentence immediately next to what we want to modify. If the modifier is wrongly placed, it may lead to ambiguous. Ambiguous means not clear. Ambiguous interpretation or even make the sentences completely inappropriate. Such modifiers which are wrongly placed are considered as serious language errors and are referred to as misplaced modifiers. For instance, look at the sentence below. So before we look at the sentence, let me tell you in brief what are these things. So as I told you, modifiers are descriptive words. These can be adjectives and adverbs. This gives meaning to a sentence, more meaning to a sentence, not general meaning, more meaning to a sentence. Now in the first sentence, we have seen example. If you place a modifier, to uh, to the next of a word that give that adds meaning to that word so if you place a modifier in a wrong place then the sentence entire sentence become uh, will have language errors that is called you know that gives complete that damages completely the sentence structure of a um, sentence structure so we should make sure that we place modifier in a right place so that the sentence will become meaningful. Now let us see one example where we have misplaced a modifier and the sentence structure is becoming completely wrong. Now let us see that. Many people complained that food was served to the guests standing around the room on flimsy paper plates. This is the sentence. Again, I'll read the sentence. Many people complained that food was served to the guests standing around the room on flimsy paper plates. Here, the modifier is on flimsy paper plates, but this is modifying the gas rather than food. So, 
The sentence can mean that guests were standing on the flimsy paper plates. I hope you understood. So here in this sentence, the modifier is placed wrongly and it a sentence is giving meaning, completely incorrect meaning. We should say that food was served on the flimsy paper plates. But in this sentence, what it is projecting in this sentence, it is projecting that guests are served on the flimsy paper plates, so which is completely wrong. So now let us see with this complete correct one. Uh, the sentence needs to be rephrased like this. So what is that? Many people complained that Food was served to the guests on flimsy play, paper plates while they were, they were standing around the room. I'll read again the correct one. Many people complained that food was served to the guests on flimsy paper plates while they were standing around the room. This is the complete meaningful sentence. Why, how did we get this means? By placing modifier in a correct place. Now let us see some task with the misplaced modifiers. Re -re Rewrite those sentences placing the misplaced, placing the modifiers in the right place. Now modifiers are kept wrong. Now you need to misplace, remove the misplaced ones and keep it in the correct place. Now let us see the first one. The new students books were bought online. It is wrong here. What we have to do modifier is new. Let us see correct sentence. The students' new books were bought online, not the new students' books. The students' new books were bought online. This is the correct way. Second one, I ate the lunch that, were, that the office boy had bought slowly. Now let us see how correctly the sentence can be written. I slowly ate the lunch that the office boy had bought. So not I ate the lunch that the bo office boy had bought slowly. Here modifier is slowly and we have to write it in a correct place. Place it in a correct place. Where is that? I slowly ate the lunch that the office boy had bought. That is the correct way of placing it. And coming to third one, the torn student's books, book was lying on the desk. No, that is wrong there. The student's torn book was lying on the desk. Now, so um, torn is a modifier, but you have placed in, in the third sentence, it is placed wrongly. So we have to place it correctly by this. The student's torn book was lying on the desk. And coming to the fourth example, just a Simran wanted to say hi to the actor. No, this is wrong. Modifier is just, we have to place just after Simran. Simran just wanted to say hi to the actor. And coming to the fifth one, he nearly tried to make all of his teachers happy. Nearly is the modifier. He tried to make nearly all of his teachers happy. So placing it correctly. Sixth one. The children yesterday went to a museum. No, it is wrong. The children went to a museum yesterday. So yesterday is the modifier. You need to place the modifier in correct place to make the sentence meaningful. So modifiers are very, very important in making the sentence meaningful. So properly making the modifiers will help us to make grammatically correct sentence.